welcome back to my channel so this video will be so different uh, to my channel and quite casual but I have decided to document um, the whole process and kind of show you before and after of um, my laundry room slash uh, pantry organization I have been wanting to organize that section of my house for so long and I just have never time have never time to do it and now finally that you know the school is kind of over my work kind of slowed down for the summer and I finally had time to do it so I am very proud of myself <laughs> and I want to kind of show you before and after and I apologize because whatever you're gonna see before is really um, embarrassing to be honest with you and uh, but I had to do it because pretty much since we moved to that house which has been 10 11 years uh, most of the section in that laundry room and um, pantry was not touched I kind of dumped a lot of stuff in there and you know I shuffle a little bit here and there but some places I had no idea what I have <laughs> so it was definitely a time and way overdue to fix that area so I finally did it and uh, I hope you kind of like this process and you like this video and uh, yeah let's take a look at my mess so you guys I hope you're not gonna get scared <laughs> so this is my laundry room slash pantry it's it's pretty big to be honest with you um, this is more like a pantry section in here and uh, you know these are all the cleaning supplies obviously and as you can see there's like a big <laughs> space um, this is like because there is a stair you know above this so obviously the, the you know the wall kind of goes down so it's kind of a useless space and just became a dump I'm like seriously <laughs> honestly guys I probably I don't even know what's inside because since we moved and when I put the little stuff in there I just don't even know what's in there so I will be cleaning this up <laughs> and there's our extra freezer and I bought all of this um, you know at the Dollar Trees those are like little storage containers which I'm gonna use obviously and you know the pantry I have been organizing obviously every once in a while but there is still so much going on <laughs> I just need some kind of like better organization system so I need to take care of that and th these are my um, machines and then yeah I keep my kids uniforms school uniforms on top of the dryer because it's just easier to grab but again doesn't look pretty I'm trying to think about maybe getting like a nice basket or something so I can keep their um, uniform clothing in here and then I have the dry sheets in here and there's more there's some <laughs> vitamins medicine sitting more organizers this is what I purchased I kind of put it right there all the sections is Eddie's <laughs> most of it as you can see those are all his those are actually his vitamins I think and all the snacks and oh my god there's just oh, I don't know there are his bones <laughs> right there so it's pretty uh, yeah pretty unorganized I actually purchased the set of the containers because I make a lot of bread and you know bake quite a bit so I purchased these containers those are amazing I'm gonna link them down below at Macy's those are by Martha Stewart and it comes with I think eight in the set they're like different height so I actually put a flower in here those are amazing you guys so I'm gonna link them down below um, yeah there's some lonely onions and potatoes in here so I just have to really really take care of everything and there's just stuff on the floor so I do have a lot of storage you guys but there is a mess as well I'm like this one for example has some of the cleaning supplies so when my cleaning ladies comes they usually grab whatever they need and I never know if we are running out of something so I really need to kind of reorganize this and make sure that it's all pretty this one for example is our medicine cabinet and uh <laughs> Oh my god, that's a mess. I mean, it's literally a mess. So, 
yeah i think my husband really want to organize this himself because i don't even know what is the half of a things for so <laughs> yeah that's his kind of uh, section and then i hear i keep my uh cleaning you know like the uh, soaps and that kind of a stuff so um yeah but there's still some stuff i just have to go through it you guys because this is just it's just too much and the last uh oh so i just bumped something there is some again very unorganized there is something up there <laughs> that i don't even know what's in it and there's some i don't know some avon stuff some gift bags and other stuff there's some extra um you know the cleaning supplies <sighs> it's just a hot 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 mess the most scary section is probably this one at the bottom <sighs> this is gonna take me a while you guys take a look at this <laughs> that's this is probably like a 10 years of stuff so um yeah <laughs> this definitely has to be addressed there's obviously more because there is another section in here and i think this one is yeah there's some eddie's <laughs> food and i think those are like the seashells i don't even know what do we need them for probably for nothing yeah so as you can see you guys it's a hot mess and i just have to take care of it it's probably gonna take me about a week or so to go through this because i have no patience i just have to do little at a time and uh i really really want to organize this because i feel horrible every time i walk into this section it's just it's just bad my house looks like a war zone <laughs> And my beautiful Lakme is in the middle of the mess. But let's ignore that because I am cleaning. So I wanted to show you a couple of things because I am making a progress. So um, I went to the Dollar Tree <laughs> and I purchased a lot of, a lot of stuff, you guys. So, for example, I got some of those baskets and I'm starting, like, organizing stuff in here. I also got some of the smaller baskets and I got some medium baskets. <laughs> These are actually from the Walmart. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep those. Um, I think the one from the Dollar Trees are much nicer. And then I got a bunch of those baskets. Those are amazing, you guys. If you have been looking for like a good, kind of a small, I would say it's like a small um, size basket that actually will fit into drawers, I'll highly, highly recommend. And these are only a dollar and they seems like they're amazing quality. See, I used one of those in my drawer when I keep kind of like, uh, you know, napkins and these are my musical napkins. <laughs> so everything stays nice and organized in here. I like it how it fits in here. So those baskets are amazing. Then I got some more, you guys. I got some green. Those are like a larger size. So I think I'm going to use those for my under sink cabinet in the... Um, in the half bath and then of course I've got a bunch of those baskets the smaller one that I just show you in green color and there I think there should be some in blue as well there we go so um, if you go to the Dollar General these are three dollars if you go to the Dollar Tree they're at just a dollar so this is a current state of my <laughs> laundry room of course I am cleaning and i'm making progress you guys so i want to kind of update you so if you remember how my medicine cabinet looked like this is the finished product so i basically went through with my husband through all the medicine we uh threw away the ones that are no good and then i labeled so by the way these containers i got at the dollar tree um yeah as well so they were only a dollar and as you can see they fit perfectly they're like a medium size they fit perfectly in here and basically like for example this is my kids you know various medicine whatever they get sick uh there's some allergy vitamins this is just for cold these are just the random 
stuff and there's a first aid so i still have the up you know the up what do you call the upstairs shelf um pretty much empty and everything is nice neatly organized yeah i'm making progress in here as well you guys if you remember this under sink cabinet in here i use a lot of those um plastic storage like a bigger you know kind of baskets from the dollar tree and i neatly organized everything i am so proud there is a smaller basket and this one is still empty i got a lot of space you guys know okay guys so this is the finished product <laughs> so i cleaned up the entire pantry and laundry room and there is a few small changes but mainly it's organized so let's start from the pantry situation so it still looks like a little chaos with this little you know under the sink under the stairs area but it is organized everything is in the baskets in a proper section um, it's really used mainly by my cleaning ladies there's like all the you know their weekly supplies whatever they use and um, you know some obviously some machines and um, this is our freezer so that um, it was like before <clears throat> and then I organized like snacks and drinks into those baskets there's some mac and cheese and my kids love my crock pots are on the top and all the cereals as you can see most of them are in the packages I also put on those red containers my husband's coffee because he drinks a lot of coffee um, and then I had a new humper, so I'm actually using this for the, uh, you know, plastic bag storage. We use them mainly for, like, garbage. And there's a few more items here on the bottom, which I organized. And there's some more mac and cheese. That's my kids <laughs> just loving it. There's some jars, you know, obviously in here. And um, there's a few more here. So basically, this is like my little... Um, pantry with the bigger things i still have i still i have a lot of you know cabinets uh in my kitchen so obviously lots of food is stored in the cabinet but that's pretty much how this section looks like now let's take a look at the laundry area so the first two things i got those two pictures in the home goods and i really really liked them they were like for 18 dollars on sale they're like a canvas uh you know kind of art i really like it it's very simple but i don't know it looks very peaceful in the laundry room so i got those and my husband hang them over here of course the laundry um the machines are the same they are not matching by the way if you notice that uh, the washing machine is new where we got it a year ago because our original uh, also samsung but there was matching this uh dryer was they were like exactly the same the washing machine broke so we end up getting a new samsung uh, a year ago but the dryer still works so obviously it's kind of a mismatch but it's okay it doesn't really bother me and then i got those two little uh kind of a basket things for my kids uniforms now they obviously done with the school <laughs> so um but yeah this is a good for me to kind of put them because they dressed up you know quickly in the morning so it's nice to have their stuff in here and then obviously as you can see i have quite a few cabinets in here and i'm gonna show you exactly how it all looks like but this is like an overview this is obviously eddie's um food and i put all his treats i put them in this little kind of a plasticky jar which i found in um walmart <laughs> and i pretty much like filled up with different kind of treats whatever we had and i just put everything in here so it's easy to see and my husband usually feeds him so he'll just grab things and um and he put his dry food in this uh, big container you know from the cheese balls that my kids had at some point so he put all his dry food in here and then we have some extra stuff uh how i am pant of course my kids are drinking it i really like these and i always dilute them with like 50 50 with the water because um 
yeah <laughs> it's just too sweet otherwise but i really love this the mango and guava those are like my favorite probably guava is better um mango is good too but i like to have it every once in a while so those are some extras in here and then obviously the sink and i got a lot of those containers with different sizes the like various sizes from um macy's macy's i believe it was one of the sales and those are the martha stewart's um so i put my flower in here and to be honest with you guys those are amazing containers if i find them i'll link them down below that was like a whole set of them and they are just great they as you can see they are sealed very tightly and you can put anything i have like i said many many sizes and i organize my food in those containers those are amazing and then uh, in home goods, I got, if you guys remember, I had those two plasticky things for my potatoes and onions. And I found those little like wooden containers in home goods. And I love it so much. I put, uh, there's some uh, lonely potatoes in here. So, and at the bottom, I have a few shallots and onions. I feel like storing them in the, you know, kind of a wood, it's better than in the plastic. So yeah i really really like that so that would be this section so that's how it looks from this side and now let me show you <laughs> how i organize things so this drawer is pretty much kind of my husband things <laughs> you know there's some glue some tape some I, I don't know you just name it some nails so i really took care of it because this was a hot mess he would be like throwing everything in here and we wouldn't find anything at all so i organized this obviously and then there's one more drawer in here which i put some um there's some doggy bags there's some shoe kind of polishing box openers there's like kind of random thing there's some like a christmas kind of lights and my label maker so this is kind of my section and then obviously the this section is also organized those are like my um extra you know kind of paper supplies i would say and then there's some popcorn buckets that my kids use at the bottom and by the way most of those whatever you see on the shelves it's like up front and they're very empty uh you know when you go deeper <clears throat> and i know it's pretty dark but as you can see there is a lot of stuff in here i organize all those kind of carpet those are mostly carpet um you know kind of solutions and there's some extra things for <laughs> for vacuums so i really organize everything nicely and there's my sewing machine so there's no more mess in here i'm really happy so this section is pretty much empty on the bottom but the top i put in this little basket which i found i think in tj maxx i put uh some extra like eddie stuff and there's his food as well that we store in this little shelf okay now let's take a look at the top so i show you guys this before this is uh the medicine cabinet everything is organized beautifully uh so i have some kids medicine allergy vitamins cold those are random so i didn't put anything in their first aid so yeah there's some extra christmas light up there and I think in the yeah the white basket up there there are my like a warranty kind of instruction kind of thing so yeah so that's this cabinet the next cabinet is pretty much those are like cleaning supplies that my uh, ladies are using and there's some extra you know little things for them and uh, I have a paper uh, like a plates and cups I usually don't use them but they're like extra so they are staying up there in case I need anything, you know, like paper or plastic. Okay, the next is my, because this shelf is above my uh, washing machine, I keep my soaps. So I have some of the little pocket soaps in here and then I have just a regular one. Um, this is fabric softener. There's some shouts and uh, other stuff. There's some... Uh, feminine supplies and those are my cleaning also <laughs> kind of a solution and there's some extras up there and the red basket I keep um, like a party supply so emergency party supplies are right there okay the very last 
cabinet there's a lot of baskets in here so basically on the very top I have some uh, rain kind of ponchos lots of them there's some extra rocks for cleaning on this basket and then these three these two and this three I have a pictures those are my pictures and my husband pictures from our college years so this is something that I need to go through and kind of organize because ultimately they're not gonna be here but I just kind of put them for now um, these are some dryer sheets and I have my sewing sewing kind of um, supplies in here and in this basket I have my camera kind of equipment things that I might need so yeah, everything looks nice and organized and I really, really like it. Okay, guys, so that's pretty much it. This is the entire organization. I opened all of the cabinets so you can see. Uh, so I feel very good. I feel very accomplished. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, let me know if you have any question. Most of the containers that I use, those little baskets and red one and white one, they all comes from a Dollar Tree. So um, that's a great place to really get a lot of good organization stuff. So that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. That's, you know, something different for sure. I It took me about a week to do it because I have like no strength to go through this like non-stop so I could probably do it in two days but um, I you know I just decided to take it easy and do a little at a time and yes I visited a couple of Dollar Trees in the area just to get all those baskets and you know kind of get an idea of how to organize and by the way I also, I didn't show you that, but I also organize all my kitchen cabinets and drawers, which it's another story, um, using, you know, this kind of a basket system kind of organization. I finally, finally got to the bottom of it, so I'm really, really proud of myself, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's just a little bit different, a little bit casual, so uh, if you do, give it a thumbs up, and uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.